What's up, guys? Guess where I'm at right now? Mm-hmm. There's mirrors, there's bars, there's ballerinas. Hey, do you want to meet me at the bar? Good pun, babe. I am at the Los Angeles Ballet Studio. Studios. I am at the Los Angeles Ballet Studios, plural. There's multiple, apparently. But you guys asked for it. You commented, you wanted to see it. You guys just really wanted to see me fail at ballet, so I'm giving you exactly what you wanted. And this lady, my girlfriend, Carolyn, <laughs> is a professional ballet dancer, as you know, and so today she's gonna try and teach me how to ballet. How to dance. How to dance. How to dance ballet. I'm gonna get my butt kicked. It's gonna be real bad and real fun. Carolyn has given me some complimentary ballet shoes. Let's see if these even fit me. I have no idea. I don't even know how to put these on. Uh, okay. Are they like two-sided or does either one work for either foot? Okay. I like that. There's no righties, there's no lefties. There is just the shoe. Do the straps go on the top of your foot? Figured that out on my own. Pretty proud of that. I feel like I'm wearing slippers. Whee! <laughs> Those are actually not too bad. So before ballet class. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so funny? <laughs> oh, okay, take two. <laughs> okay. Before dance class, most times people take time to stretch before so they don't injure themselves. So I'm gonna show Jeremy some of the stretches I do before ballet class. So I tend to always start out with a plank for about a minute, and then it warms up the rest of my body where she stretch. Just do it. All right. Plank it up. Just like this. So, uh, how's that? <laughs> he looks pretty good. It's cool. If you didn't notice, we're, uh, we're matching right now. Yep. Compliments of me. Carolyn just likes humiliating me. <laughs> Good plank. And we're going to continue our stretches with just warming up our feet. Okay. So point. Point. Not point. I am pointing. What are you talking about? Ah! Ah! Ow! My feet don't move like that. <laughs> you gotta keep your legs straight. Not point. That's as far as they point. <laughs> That's as far as they point. Ha 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 See, this is called biscuit. You have some nice biscuits. Is your daddy a baker? Because you got some nice biscuits. That's an insult in the ballet world. You have biscuits. <laughs> oh, is it bad? Yeah. So biscuits are not good. So never risk it for the biscuit in the ballet world. That is correct. We don't want biscuits. We want nicely large feet. We're just going to ease into our splits. <laughs> and if you want, you can even do maybe a little bit of split. And then you can <coughs> Switch. Oh look, wow, one went all the way. <laughs> no. I think that's as far as it will go. That's not a split. <laughs> I know. I'm aware. Okay, hey, maybe point your feet. I am. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Okay, now you gotta do a middle split. This is really good for your turn out. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I did it! Oh god, no. <laughs> quiz at the end, so you have to remember all these things. <laughs> Believe me, I already forgot. The first type of step you do in a ballet class is plies. So I'm gonna give him a plie combination, then he's gonna have to repeat. You just bend your legs like this, and then you go all the way down. And then you have to bend forward, and then you bend back. And then you do the same thing in second, in fourth, and in fifth. Third is for babies, so we're gonna skip that because we're pros here, but now it's Jeremy's turn. That is actually not that bad of a first position. If you know Jeremy well enough, he actually walks turned out. <laughs> he looks like a bit of a duck. Hey, ducks are cool. Now you need to engage your glutes and lift up. There you go. Better. Gluteus maximus engaged. Okay, and then put your chin up. <laughs> and now you're going to plie. And what does plie mean? Plie means you bend your knees. 
to bend. Okay, you're just sticking your butt out like crazy. So engage your butt. There you go. And now bend down. <laughs> it looks constipated. I'm focusing. Okay, but you can. It's my focusing face. It also can... is my pooping face. <laughs> now come up. And now do another one. And then grand plie, which means to go all the way down. All the way down. All the way. Keep going. Even more. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. And now come up. And now bend forward. What do you mean? Port de bra forward. Did you not watch what I did? I, I did, but I forgot. <laughs> and you bend forward like your head's gonna touch your knees. Keep going. Keep, even more. It's like a nice swan dive. You can move your uh, right arm towards the ground. Okay. Can you go any lower? Relax your head. Even more. And now come up. <clears throat> Gotta keep this leg straight though. And now a nice port de bra back. You bend backwards. Yeah, but you want it holding the bar with your arm up. Not bad. Okay, you're done. <laughs> and now you have to do the same thing in second position, fourth position, and fifth position. I think we're getting the hang of this, guys. Now we're going to do the whole combination together because Jeremy now has a bit of a hang of what we're doing. So we're going to do plies. Plie. Plie. You do as fast as me. Ground plie, so all the way down. And then you quarter back forward. Nice quarter back back. <laughs> and top your side, and down. <laughs> Second position, a little wider. Plie. Plie. Round plie. And forward and go side. Uh, what? Inside. Test your balance and go to the other side. Good first. Now to board. <laughs> other foot, we're doing the first steps. Oh. Plie. Hold one, hold the bar. Right. The bar is your friend. And now we're gonna do a circular port of roster ring all the way around. <laughs> Stop. And now you reverse the portal, so now we're gonna go outside. So like this? Side and then down to the floor. Yeah. So the next combination we're doing is tondu. We're doing tondus with plie. Like this and then something along those lines. Because it'll warm up your inner thighs and your feet muscles, and so that's what we're doing next. So we're gonna start like I did before, plie, out, in. Straighten, tendu front, to first, plie, side, back into first, and up, tendu side. You're going so fast! I can't keep up with it. I'm going so slow. So in fifth position, we're just going to do the exact same thing we did in first. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what we did? Nope. To the front, to the side, to the back, plie, to the front, side. side, back. <laughs> Okay, uh, fifth position is your home base. Basically, everything in ballet is from fifth position. Tondu side, close this back there, and now tondu back, close back, now tondu side, close front. There you go. And do you know what that's called? No. Nope. Encore. Um, front side, back side. Why can't these things be in English? They were originated in French. There's history to ballet. Freaking French. I like you, France. You're cool. Are you a little bit warm enough? I'm warm enough. We skipped a couple things because we need to get this bar going. So midway through bar, we need to do a little stretch again. <laughs> so from the position, you're going to definitely peg your leg. Put it just right on the bar. Just put it right on the bar. Okay. Bend forward. And then come up. And then bend all the way back. Oh! <laughs> I felt feeling... I felt feeling in an area that I've never felt feeling before. There should be... Skip stretches. Yeah, let's skip the stretching. I feel like that's even more complicated, at least for me. What are you doing? I'm just putting my winches on. I just use a little paper towel to give me a bit of support. A little dirty because I wore these for my performance of last weekend. It's like you're wrapping a present. <laughs> and now, you're gonna try them on too. Yay! See, the, the most important thing about ballet is giving it your own style. For instance, for me, I like to think of my shoes as little gifts. <laughs> little presents, and so I wrap them as such. Nice little bow. And now, I'm gonna go up on point. <laughs> That's Jeremy's foot. These are mine. And she's not even holding the bar. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> oh, my shoes are a little dead. I think you do it a little better than I do. I think so too. Just a tad. Those are some biscuits. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I feel like one of those deer, like a baby deer that's just learning to walk and they're like going like all over the place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop that before I seriously injure myself.
official with a Sodanza jacket and everything. Ready? Hashtag sponsored by Sodanza. Actually, Sodanza, you do not want to sponsor me because you do not want your name associated with my style of dance. Go ahead, babe. Those were some nice skips. <clears throat> a very popular butt cracker step, nutcracker step, butt cracker, nutcracker, same difference, is a tour jeté. What is a tour jeté, you ask? Well, it's like you're scissoring your legs in the air. I mean, you've all seen my skills. I think I can easily do this. I feel like I'm putting on a diaper. Get that booty out. Okay, wow, mom and dad, you should be really proud of me now. I'm ready to perform. Now your second part is... <laughs> and you wanna do a curtsy or a bow? <laughs> nice, nice plie. <laughs> so as our concluding element, I taught Jeremy a little bit of the Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker. It is a part that I do all the time. It is definitely an abridged version because the Waltz of the Flowers is like eight minutes, and this is maybe seven seconds. <laughs> In any case, we're gonna dance together. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Oh, right, we're doing that. What does plie mean? Better get out your notepads, kids. You're about to get some learning. A plie is to bend. Thoroughly impressed. Okay, what is a passe? A passe is a group of people who, usually in old western times, uh, a passe would be kind of like a, a, a gang almost. They would uh, rob settlements and places for, for money. Sometimes a passe could be a good thing. It could be like a sheriff's passe. Posse? Oh, posse, right. A passe is when you bend forward. That's a porta bra. Grand butt ma? Grand, it sounds like grand butt ma. Grand butt, bot ma? Bot ma. What is grand? Uh, it's like a thousand dollars. It's like a grand. <laughs> I think a grand butt ma is... One big butt. <laughs> one big old booty. Kind of bend out to the side. Grand butt ma is like a big kick. It's a big kick. What did we just do a little excerpt from? Snow and flowers from the Nutcracker. We just did flowers. Waltz of the Flowers. Waltz of the Flowers. An abridged version. An abridged version. <laughs> well, good job. That was quite the effort. Thanks for being such a good teacher. A for effort. You but said no, I was I'm, a bad teacher. I don't know if it's she's a bad teacher or I'm just the worst student of all time. It's probably the latter of the two. If you're my age and you've never danced ballet before, you pretty much can't. At least not to a level that is going to be like decent. You would have to spend so much time. I'm saying kudos to all the professional dancers out there because you guys oh, make nice. it look easy. So. Thanks, babe. You look great, babe. So thank you guys for watching uh, and seeing how not easy it is to dance ballet. I gave it my best. My best probably looked like my worst. But thanks for coming on this ride. And you're welcome. Those of you who suggested this, we did it. I'm very sweaty. Uh, until next time, I've been Jeremy. She's been Carolyn. Bye. See ya.